Ukrainian roots formed this extraordinary musician, known in his lifetime as the best fiddler in Canada. I could hear the Ukrainian uh, sound. I met Frankie Rogers in about 1954, I would say, because we were playing uh, on a show, local show here in Edmonton. And uh, Frankie, I think he might have been about 17. Uh, we were playing on the sh a show called uh, the Jubilee Jamboree. We all played at a Grand Ole Opry imitation on Wednesday nights on one of the radio stations, Old Dad Taylor's Jubilee Jamboree. And uh, we all learned to play there. The big thing that was going on in Edmonton was a TV show where uh, Gaby Haas, the accordionist, was playing and of course he was playing old-time country music. We would never hesitate if Gaby would phone up Frankie and say, Frankie, you know, I'd like you on the show. And of course, the minute he would do one or two solos on the show, the next thing you know, Gaby wants him in the band full time, you know, because he was that good. Frankie performed with the biggest names in country music, touring Canada, Australia, and the US. Television, touring, and studio work propelled him into a successful recording career. Unknown to many, he also left a rich legacy of fiddle compositions. In the United States, Nashville's star-driven radio playlists replaced fiddle and steel guitar with choirs and string sections. Following the American radio trend, Canada had no room for even its top fiddler to make a living. By the early 1970s, Frankie emigrated to New Zealand, leaving behind a fading legacy. But in 1973, just to the south, a young fiddler at the National Old Time Fiddlers Contest in Weezer, Idaho, brought the Ookpik Waltz to the attention of the entire contest. She won her division playing Ookpik Waltz, her mother accompanying her on the washtub bass. Inspired by her performance, fiddlers adapted the tune to showcase their skills. First tune probably I learned that had minor chords in it. They also created an origin story to account for its unusual sound. The mystery of the Ookpik reveals the truth behind this unlikely and previously untold story.